more besides. But look who's dropped into Sears, Gwen Torrance. After that unfortunate disqualification yesterday, the double was there. You'd done it. You were the fastest by far. And then that happened. And the unfortunate way in which you learned about it. Yes, um, at first I thought it was a joke. I just thought the guy was kidding me because I had beaten them by such a large margin and the time was so fast. I just, I just assumed he was joking with me. And I was like, oh yeah, right, stop playing. And he's like, no, I am serious. You just got disqualified. I'm like, who are you? And when I looked on the scoreboard and my name wasn't up there, I just couldn't believe my eyes. I, I just, I didn't have a feeling. I didn't know what had happened. You weren't slightly aware during the race at all that you were getting close to that, that line. If I had any indication starting out the first 10 meters, if I had been in anywhere near the line, I would have gotten my tail over because I felt good. I, I was already mad from the start because somebody, my shoes were misplaced. That would really tick me off and I was running with such anger. I, I, God knows I, I wouldn't have never jeopardized a disqualification for being so close to the line. Mm -hmm. you, you're very experienced. In Grand Prix race meetings, for example, do you think that that happens sometimes and people probably don't take much notice of it, but there's a special observation of things like that here? Yes, I'm sure that it happens because in the 200, we do run very close to the line because that's what you practice and you um, do in practice. You practice on making your imaginary line and you run very very close to it so um i'm sure it happens in the grand prix races and nobody pays it much attention but this is the big meet and it is paid more closely attention um here at the big meet now you appealed what happened with the appeal well what did you try to do what did you try to say i don't know the process but our argument was they quoted us the wrong rule first of all and then they they said that they just said i stepped on the line and we said well the rule goes much further it says um did i gain anything by doing it did i impede on another runner by doing it then they overturn it they did it for the darnell hall in the men's 400 meters the same exact thing happened but nothing happened with mine i i just don't understand it if it's a rule does that rule not apply to me? Does the rule apply to certain people? The same rule didn't apply for me this time. You seem, obviously seem pretty upset still by that decision. And uh, No, I'm not upset. I've accepted the fact that I have been disqualified. I've accepted that I'm not the world champion. But I also have to realize I came here to win the 100 meters. Whatever happened in the 200 would have been a plus for me. I am disappointed that that's no, I can't, that is very hard to swallow. I'm very disappointed because I would have been the first American to double in the 100 and 200 for a woman. And that's the biggest disappointment, but I've accepted that and I'm moving on and I'll be back. You certainly will. And what plans now? You'll run in the, uh, in the relay. Well, right now I'm still trying to get focused and to put everything behind me and it takes a lot of concentration to do a relay and I'm getting better each day and I think I'll be okay. I think I, I will come back for the relay. Right. I, d I don't want to let the team down and they are depending on me and if, I, if you see me out there, you best believe I'm going to give it everything I have. Oh, we believe that. <laughs> and you're from Atlanta, aren't you? So next yeah. year's a, a very big year, well, for everybody concerned yeah. with the Olympics, but for you in particular. Born and raised. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Avoid that line next year, <laughs> will you? Okay. <laughs> and thanks for popping in to see us. You're very welcome. We're <laughs> off to 200 meters now, of course. It's the men's 200 meters. It's semi-final.